Hi Mecca Beauty Junkies, it's Maddie Edwards here. Last week you would have seen me in a video showing you the skincare products that I was road testing from Mecca and how I treat my blemish prone skin. Today I'm doing another video but this time it's how I cover my blemish prone skin. So as you can see I've got a lot of redness, I get acne and I get eczema. This is some nice eczema on my lip right here. So if you're interested in seeing how I create a natural kind of flawless base for every day, keep on watching and we'll get straight into it. All right, so I always start my makeup on a freshly cleansed and moisturized skin. Next up, of course, is going to be primer. Today I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. It seriously blocks all oil flow. I just like to use this all over my face because I feel like it sets everything down. So after putting that on my face with the stick, I just like to kind of press it in so that it's really worked in. Next step is concealing the redness with a green concealer. So I love the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid and the green is just going to cancel out any redness. So before I put the foundation on, we've got kind of like an even complexion to work on. So I'm just gonna dot this on all of my redness. I don't actually have any active pimples right now, so that's why I'm using just the wand. And then I'm just going to press that in with my finger. We don't want to leave any like bright green. We kind of just want to blend it out until it's nice and diffused and you can't really see where I've put the green concealer. Next, we're going to cover all of this with some foundation. So I'm going in with my NARS Sheer Glow and that's in the color Mont Blanc. So I'm just gonna apply this with my finger, just evenly to my face. And then here I have the Stila Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to press that into my skin. If I need more coverage, I'll go back in, but I like to kind of layer thin layers on rather than the big thick layer first up. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with another thin layer of that just to make sure that green's all covered because right now it's still peeking through a little bit. And believe it or not, zombie is not what we're going for today. Okay, so I think that's enough coverage for now. Our next step is any kind of redness or pinkness that's kind of peeking through. I'm just gonna go into a, another concealer that's just my skin color and cover those up, which is basically the exact same color as my foundation. I see a lot of um, people in videos and I don't know, so many of my friends, even I used to do it, um, covering pimples with the same concealer you cover your under eyes. But if you cover your pimples with like a highlighting concealer, it's kind of going to draw even more attention to them. And I'm just going to use my finger because I feel like that melts the product into my skin a little bit nicer. Perfect. We are looking like a 2D piece of paper, which is what we want for this stage. Now to add a bit of dimension to the central areas of my face, I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. It's going to make the central areas of my face look a little bit more 3D and just glowier. I love this one for under my eyes because it's so lightweight, it does not crease and it's light diffusing as well. And I'm just going to use the Stila Beauty Sponge to blend that all out. And I'm just going to pop that over my eyelids as well just to cover any veins or redness. I got a lot of veins on my eyelids. Okay, so we're gonna leave that as is for now. If you crease really quickly, then powder it up, but I'm just gonna leave it for now because I don't crease that quickly, especially not with this concealer. So I'm gonna go onto bronzing now, and this is the Shantikai Radiance Gel Bronzer. I just don't like powders. I find the powders can look quite cakey on a skin type that's not perfectly clear. My favorite thing about like covering my skin with cream products is that it looks so fresh and it doesn't necessarily look like I'm trying to hide my skin it just looks like yeah I know I've got acne I'm fine with it I'm not really trying to cover it up I'm just trying to make it look a little bit nicer <laughs> now I'm going to blend that out with my MAC 170 brush I just bronzed all the areas that would naturally hit the sun and I kind of contoured my nose with this bronzer because I'm not really contouring today and this brush has a like slight slant to it so it's really easy to be nice and precise with where you're taking all the product and just make sure that I'm working that into my hairline and the nose bronzer is a bit too hectic so I'm just going to use my beauty sponge and kind of diffuse that a fair bit 
We're gonna add some color to this face of mine. I'm going in with this Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. It's a beautiful, like, peachy toned flush. So I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers right onto the apples of my cheeks and kind of take it towards my temple. And the reason that the green concealing and the covering all the redness is so important is firstly because you don't have to cover it in foundation, like too much foundation. You saw I only put two little thin layers on. Secondly, if you're using blush, you don't want the blush to kind of bring out the redness in your skin, if that makes sense. That is the last of our cream products. So now I'm just gonna set that all down and I have the Mecha Maxima Life Proof Super Set Invisible Loose Powder. Now this one's really, really nice for just a light veil all over the face to set everything in place. And I also like to use it under the eyes to set that. So to set that all down, I'm just gonna use my Hourglass Veil Powder Brush. So just using the small side, I'm just gonna pop that right under my eyes and in my nasolabial folds where I know that I get oilier. And then with the other side of the brush, the fuller side, I'm just going to sweep that away. And then that's a lot of powder. I'm just gonna dust off that excess and dust that all over my face. So now I'm looking really matte. I just wanna bring a little bit of glow back into my face. So going in with another Mecca product, this one's <laughs> really sticky and gross. It's the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Powder. This is like one of the most amazing highlighters I've ever seen. And I'm just gonna use my Mecca Max Highlighter Hitter. Now, I have a tip. Any areas where you are textured, like if you've got bumpy acne or scarring or anything like that, don't apply highlighter because highlighter emphasizes the texture. So I know that I get that eczema above my lip. If I put the highlighter there, it's just gonna go into all the creases and just not look nice at all. That's why this brush is so good as well because it's quite precise. And just a bit under my eyebrows and in the corner of my eyes as well. Check that glow. Now, to give me some lashes, I'm going in with the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I'm just gonna coat the tops as well. Now, for the lips, this is one of my favorite signature colors. Whenever I wear it, everybody asks me what it is. It is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. It's in the shade Driver's Seat. I love the look of this on all skin tones as well. So I just did that in one dip of the lipstick. Such a pretty color. Makes my teeth look really white as well. So that is everything done, but we can't forget the most important step and that is setting everything down. Now I have the most beautifully packaged product in the world. Touches Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. My friend Ricky, she works with Mecca in Tasmania and she told me only to use three of this. I don't know why, but I trust her. All right, Mecca Beauty Junkies, that is all from me today. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if I really wanna look flawless, this is what I do. It's not really about covering my skin or caking it up. I like how it looks kind of fresh and dewy still, but we know that it's gonna stay in place because of all the powders and the setting spray that we used. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to Mecca Beauty Junkies YouTube channel for more for more for more beauty related videos and hopefully i will see you guys again soon thank you so much for watching Mwah.